Hello, my name is Mara Lysenko. I'm a metal vocalist and a vocal coach. And today I want to teach you some false chord basics. Now, since one approach might not be suitable for everyone, I'm going to show you three different methods how to get that false chord coordination going. So what is false chord technique? It is used mainly in most extreme metal subgenres and is created by rapid airflow that starts to vibrate superglottic structures such as false chords and arytenoids. So false chords or false vocal folds are located above the real vocal folds and their primary purpose is a protection of airways and lungs. So they close airways when we swallow and help to cough out everything that gets past the real vocal faults. Since we normally don't use these chords in the sound making, we have to get used to this coordination first and foremost. Now false chord coordinations have been used also by the throat singers from Tuva, Mongolia, Tibet. And also the metal vocals have figured out the ways how to use this coordination in very extreme vocal sound making. So let's get started. The first approach is heavy sigh. Now you've probably seen this method in some other growling tutorials and this indeed works by the words of my teacher and death metal phonetrician Enrico H. De Lorenzo, the same structures that vibrate in heavy sigh are involved in growling too. But right now we're kind of isolating this coordination and make it as light as possible. So remember the golden rule in all extreme vocals. We have to make each sound with as least effort as possible. That way your voice will be safe, healthy and best sounding. And trust me, with this coordination, you can also go as brutal as possible. So right now, imagine that you've come after the work, after the long shift, and you're really tired and you just fall into the chair and just go. <sighs> and remember, don't approach this sound as a growl yet. This is not a growl. It's a heavy sigh. So it's much, much lighter. So the most important question that you have to ask yourself, does this sound authentic? A lot of times singers would go like, uh, uh, uh. but this doesn't sound like a sigh. Sigh is very light, relaxed. <sighs> if you still have a problem to trying to find this light coordination, I suggest you to fall into the sofa and really feel that full body relaxation. For this exercise, let's sit on a sofa or a really comfortable chair so you don't fall over. Let's stand up. Let's have that relaxation and tiredness in our body. So we will fall into that sofa. And at the moment when we're gonna hit that sofa, we will make that rattling sound. So let's go. <sighs> and again. So make sure that your body is fully relaxed and that you really feel that falling sensation. That way the coordination will be light and best sounding as possible. So you might ask, where do we go from here? It sounds kind of like nothing, it doesn't sound like a girl at all. But this is just the very beginning. This is the basis, the coordination. Later on, you will develop this sound further, adding like more intensity and more resonance to it. So over the time, slowly, step by step, you will develop this sound like this. until you get to the full growling sound. Don't attempt to do this right now. It takes many, many months to develop. This was just a shortcut for you to understand how we develop this sound. The second approach was made famous by a world known metal vocal coach, Melissa Cross, and those are jumping jacks. Now, some of the people who have the difficulty to find that rattle from the first approach 
find those jumping jacks really beneficial. While we are in the motion, our analytical brain is switched off and our body is in relaxed state. So we let go of all unnecessary tensions. So let's stand up. Jumping jacks are these star-shaped jumps that are used for the physical activities in the sports. And we're gonna incorporate it with some barking. Yes, we can learn from our best friend's dogs. So we're gonna make a light bark, woof, when we jump. And exactly at the, at the moment when the arms go up. So it will look and sound like this. Woof, 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 woof. Again, please, please, please don't address this as a growl. It has to be like a medium-sized dog, right? So the, that barking is pretty light, but at the same time, the rattle is going on. So let's do it again. Woof, 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 woof. Are you doing it with me? I hope so. So how do we transfer this exercise to a growling? Of course, we're not gonna jump on the stage like this and bark at the same time. So that's why we're gonna jump three times and the fourth time we're gonna stand and we're gonna prolong that barking sound. But remember, you have to make that prolonged sound as light as that bark when you jumped up. So don't change it don't try to make it more brutal and more growly type. It has to be light, even if it doesn't sound that well straight from the beginning. It looks and sounds like this. Do it with me. Woof, 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 woof. It still sounds pretty light. But again, that's the very basis of the growl, the safest, the best sounding and the healthiest. Over a time while doing this exercise, you will notice how your growls will improve. So your woofs will become much more resonant, much more intense and better sounding. So give this exercise a time. Do these jumping jacks every day for at least two months and you will definitely hear a difference in your growling. The third and final approach is coughing. It is used by throat singers. Now coughing is one of the rare everyday sounds we make with our false chords. So throat singers figured out the way to use coughing to activate this false vocal fold coordination in sound making. So we will start with a very light, and again, very light coughing. It's kind of like a polite coughing when you want to draw attention. <clears throat> and that's all it is. So you can really hear that rattle going on. <clears throat> And again, don't go harsh. Don't go <clears throat> <clears throat> like brutally clearing the throat. Just very polite and light. <clears throat> <clears throat> if this is easy, the next step that you do is try to prolong that cough. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now making this sound, you can accidentally fall into the throat singing sound. If this is what you're looking for, congratulations. If not, remember that the growl uses more of the false vocal fold mass as well as more airflow. So try to make it like more rattly. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Here's your light coordination for the growl basics. So guys, I hope you had fun with these exercises and will incorporate them in your everyday practice. Now remember, developing coordination takes time. So be patient with yourself. If you would like to work more and in depth with these and other extreme vocal techniques, sign up for private Skype lessons with me. 
All the information can be found in the video description. Good luck in your practice and stay brutal.